we are now going to translate the graph of a function. And in math, this translate of a graph is to take a graph. Let's say we have a nice, simple slope of 1 graph. Just a simple y equals x graph that looks like this. And when we translate it, we want, we're talking about moving it up or down or even left and right or right. And so we want to be able to affect things to make it go up or down or left or right. And the way that we're going to do this is by changing the function. So if f of x equals, say, x, then if I change it inside of the parentheses, that's the same as changing the x itself. But in this case, it's not going to do much. It's just going to drop it to. It makes a bigger difference when we have something more complicated. Or we could look at f of x plus 2 because this would be replacing our x, where here we take our x and then we'd add 2 to it because we're adding 2 to the outside. And so these are going to work out differently, but the idea here is what happens as we want to go up, as we want to go down, or different things like that. So we're going to show some up, down first, and then we'll show some left, right. And so our first example Let's look at a very basic f of x equals x squared graph. And so if we pick our x's, we can find our matching y's, and we're going to pick minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So minus 2 squared is 4, 1, 0, 1, 4. And we get this very basic graph like this. All right, so here's our graph. Now, if I want to find what f of x plus 2 is, let's write this in green. So I want to add 2 to the result. Well, that's going to be my x squared result, and then I'm going to add 2 to it. So this becomes 6, 3, 2, 3, 6. Everything is 2 higher than what it started as. But other than that, we get the same basic shape. Likewise, we could do f of x minus 2. So that's going to be our x squared minus 2. And so it's going to come down 2. We get the same, other than that, we get the same basic graph, except that for any given x value, it's too lower than the original parent function. So we call this a parent function, and these are translated functions. Now, just like we can go left or, or up or down, we can also go left or right. To go left or right, we change, and instead of putting in an x, we change what goes into the x. So let's do this one in orange, x minus 3, which is going to equal, remember when we evaluate, we put whatever's here where the x was, and so we end up with x minus 3 squared. Now let's see what this does to our table. If we take our same basic table, x's of minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, or 2. We take minus 2, we subtract 3, and get minus 5, which we then square to get 25. Minus 1, minus 3. That looks like a 6. Minus 1, minus 3 is minus 4. Squared is 16. 0 minus 3 is minus 3. Squared is 9. 1 minus 3 is minus 2 squared is 4. 2 minus 3 is minus 1 squared is minus 1. And notice, we still haven't seen the basics of it. But if we look, here's our 1 and here's our 4. They just happen to be 3 to the right of where they should be. We went over 3. So 1, 4, and 2, 1. We moved everything to the right. 3 spots up, so that needs to go there, so it's over correctly. 
And so this one's going to go three points to here, and this one's going to go to here, and this one's going to go to here. Everything is three to the right. And so what we find out is it's lying to us about this innermost sign. Instead of being to the left 3 because it's minus 3, it's actually to the right 3 because it's what zeroes it out. So ask yourself, what zeroes out the interesting piece?